In today's video, I'm going to solve these two questions, number 10 and number 11, which came recently, this year, 2022, board exam, EMBOS. This one will be helpful not only for the EMBOS students, but for other board students as well, as it will increase your knowledge in organic chemistry. So let us do the first one, number 10. Let's see how do we get this product. We have ethyl bromide. Ethyl bromide. And potassium cyanide. This is simple. We just eliminate potassium bromide. And we have ethyl cyanide. Ethyl cyanide. And potassium bromide. Okay? this one look here they might also ask you like this in place of potassium cyanide they might ask you with potassium cyanide so same thing we have ethyl cyanide sodium bromide and if they give you like this potassium cyanide sodium cyanide with an alkyl halide in aqueous alcohol then you will get a cyanide okay here same thing potassium bromide sodium bromide okay but there is one important thing that you have to know as a note this one is very important you should not ignore this one if they give you in place of potassium cyanide and sodium cyanide if they give you silver cyanide and then with alkyl halide say ethyl bromide then you will get an isocyanide ethyl ethyl isocyanide and silver bromide this is the correct answer if you write ethyl cyanide then your answer is wrong remember whenever you have silver cyanide you get an isocyanide ethyl isocyanide okay let us come to the second one. Here we have chlorobenzene and hydrous aluminum chloride, acetyl chloride. So this one is a Friedel graph acylation. Now look here. This is a Lewis acid. Okay, it can accept some more electrons. And here we have acetyl chloride. Now this one goes out as Cl minus. It goes to aluminium and we have AlCl4- minus with an electrophile. This is your electrophile. Now let's have a look at chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have the lone pairs of electrons. Now we have the resonance okay this one comes here this one goes there cl plus double bond minus this one comes here this one goes here So we have here a bond, here minus, again this one comes here, this one goes here, again this one comes here, this one goes here. 
So these are the resonating structures of chlorobenzene. All right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, here we have a para position, ortho, meta, ortho, meta, para. If you look here, because of resonance, the electron density is high at the ortho, para, ortho. The, the electron density is high at the ortho, para, and ortho position. Okay, so all electrophile prefers to go and attack the ortho and para positions. And in this case, we have two products. Okay, two products. One is the ortho product, another one is the para product. One is the major, one is the uh, minor product. So this one, electrophile, would come at the ortho and at the para position. So what do we expect the product? One would be this. One at the ortho, C double bond O, CH3, an electrophile, okay. And another one would be at the, at the para position, at the para position here. C double bond O, CH3. This is a major product. Major product, that is the para product. And this is a minor product, that is the auto product this is a major product for chloroacetophenone and here we have a minor product minor product to chloroacetophenone major product minor product okay let us do the second one in the following pair of halogen compounds which compound will react faster by SN1 mechanism and why here we have SN1 and SN2 now you have to remember that in the SN1 mechanism, tertiary reacts faster than secondary than primary. Whereas in SN2, primary reacts faster than secondary than tertiary. Okay, now look here. This carbon is bonded to how many metal groups? 1, 2, 3. So it is a tertiary carbon. And here, 1, 2, it is a secondary. So according to this one, SN1 mechanism, which one would react faster? It is the tertiary butyl chloride, okay? Now we have to give the reason why. What is the reason? Now look here. Here we have a tertiary butyl. Tertiary butyl chloride. Now, in the presence of a nucleophile, this one leaves us um, Cl- and you get a tertiary carbocation. Tertiary carbocation. Okay? This is a tertiary carbo carbon. Tertiary carbon. And this one is a tertiary carbocation. This tertiary carbocation is more stable because we have three methyl groups which are electron donating groups they donate electrons to this tertiary carbon that's why tertiary carbocation is more stable as compared to the secondary carbocation which we get from this one that's why tertiary tertiary butyl chloride reacts faster by sn1 mechanism now they might also ask you 
in this way in place of SN1 they might ask SN2 so for SN2 which one reacts faster primary than secondary and then tertiary so if they ask in SN2 mechanism which one is the correct answer this one okay this one would react faster by SN2 mechanism so now we come to question number 11 how will you carry out the following conversions the first one propene to propane one all see here i would like to advise you that you have to know the structures of organic compounds when you know the name of a compound you should know its structural formula because if you don't know the structural formula that might create difficulty for you to complete any organic chemical reaction okay so you should know the structural formula so let us do this one 11 a how will you convert propene to propane one all so how does propene look like ch3 ch double bond ch2 okay you want to convert this one into propane one all ch3 ch2 ch2 oh this is your propane this is your propane one all okay now let us see how to convert this to this now the first step would be propene reacts with halogen acid say HBr okay in the presence of uh, peroxide so here we have to follow anti Markovnikov rule positive part goes to the carbon which is less hydrogenated now the electrons from this bond come to this carbon the negatively charged bromine come to form a bond here so we have CH3 CH2 CH2 Br this is the first step now we want to convert this one to propane one all so we have to replace uh, this bromine atom by an OH group okay so how can we do that we add aqueous potassium hydroxide so when we add this this one would be replaced by the OH group we have CH3 CH2 CH2 OH and we have potassium bromide so this is how we convert propene to propane one all second one ethyl chloride to propanoic acid ethyl chloride know the structure CH3 CH2 Cl convert this one to propanoic acid CH3 CH2 COOH ethyl chloride to propanoic propanoic acid so how to convert this one so it is not easy to remove this one and replace by the carboxylic group directly so we have to do in this way first what we do we take this ethyl chloride we treat with potassium cyanide in the presence of aqueous ethanol then what do we have 
ethyl cyanide right ethyl cyanide plus potassium chloride next what we do we acid hydrolysis when we do the acid hydrolysis this one would be converted into ch3 ch2 co oh hence this is propanoic acid done